Rock Eyes would like to welcome Sebastian Sick once around. Hey, man, what's up? What's going on? What's up, man? Nothing much. Doing good, doing good. Cool. Last time uh, we talked was exactly March 2016, one year ago. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, the changes in the band and direction and stuff like that since uh, a year passed. Oh, uh, well, I'd say I didn't know it was a uh, year past. Um, there's a lot. A lot has been going on in the world of Once Around. Uh, first of all, we have a new bass player. Uh, Axel K. Gessner is working really good for us. Just an all-around great musician. Um, and then, th furthermore, our, our sound, our looks, everything has just evolved uh, for the better. And right. I'm really excited for what's coming and what has been released with our new single and how that's been going and everything. Wow. And the new single is Devil Inside, right? Yeah. Um, you're getting a lot of, uh, you know, uh, requests on your Facebook for, for friends mm -hmm. and uh, uh, people listening to the tune? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, tell me a little bit about Born to Be Records. Uh, it's a, a record company our manager started. Uh-huh. Um, Michael Hanrath, he started it. And uh, Born to Be Records, is, it's basically... Um, uh, it's it's really it's a really good direction to have. Um, I think it's a good thing for bands to be signed to a local um, record label first to get yourselves out there. It's a really good thing to have on your resume. And Born to Be Records is just everything that he he gives he has done for us in the past as a manager is just the perfect uh, opportunity and right direction for this band to go at this point in time. Cool. And uh, le leading us to bigger and better things. Right, right. Uh, I, I recently I saw a picture of you guys with uh, Davy Suicide. Uh, what what went down there? Uh, yeah, he he uh, he was on. He's still on tour uh, with Dope, and he played at the the Red Zone, the Annex in Madison, where we're from. We we always play there, so we went to go uh, hang out with him and uh, check their set out, and just all just such an awesome dude. And the whole. The whole band is great band. Me and my uh, uh, Raf guitar player just been listening to them since they started. So it's really awesome to get the opportunity to hang out with them and watch their show in our hometown. Cool, cool. And now, um, tell me a little bit about the image on stage that uh, Once Around portrays. Uh, well, we really thrive on uh, our theatrics, and uh, since talking to you last, we've upped that quite a bit <laughs> um uh like some of my my favorite my top three favorite bands i'd probably have to say would, would be uh crash diet kiss and blackville bride and all three of those bands are thrive on theatrics right you know and looks so um yeah for us once around we're getting into more of a, a theme um for what we have coming up devil inside is just a start i mean what we have a release previously up to this point is just nothing our new stuff it's just it's unreal I can't even begin to explain <laughs> I mean um everything you thought you knew about once around before is time to leave it all behind basically it's the first line in Devil Inside is what I say and that's basically what Devil Inside is about cool. now tell me what you know your first concert experience was that you went to see a show uh, my first concert was in 2009. My dad took me to see uh, Motley Crue on the Saints of Los Angeles tour. Right. And it was uh, the Las Vegas opened up. That was the first time I saw them. Just loved them. And eventually, once around, got to open up for them in Madison. So it just dreams come true. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then Theory of Dead Man and Hinder and then Motley Crue was on that show. Just such an awesome first experience with that. I love Saints of Los Angeles, the album. They came out just guns blazing with all the um, fire and pyrotechnics that they do and just the awesome songs. It was great first experience. That's what really kind of started to get me like, yup, this is what I want to do. All right. Do you remember the first CD that you ever bought? Uh, the first CD I ever bought was probably... I want to say, I think it's either down to 
Black Bull Bride set the world on fire or The Las Vegas Whatever Gets You Off. It's one right. of those two. I think it might be The Las Vegas. Right, right. When you're after a show, do you hang out with the uh, the fans? Stay out with the fans? Yeah. Do you st- you hang out yeah. with them? Do you know? Yeah, always. Always. I think it's a very great thing for bands to do is to interact with their fans more and more, and that's how you know that's your uh, – how do I? How do you say? It? What's the word? Um, so you're basically your struct. Yes, your structure to your uh, to your band. That right. They it keeps keeps you alive. So, yeah, we always hang out with them. Right. My, myself and the whole band. What's that experience? What's that experience like uh, when someone asks for an autograph? Uh, it's it's really cool. It's it's something that uh, you know you always uh, dream of. Having some day when uh, growing up, doing it to you know walking up to um, Andy Beersack when I first met him, asking him you know right. meeting all the whole band for their, getting their autograph and just watching him sign the poster or the CD, and then just having myself be in his shoes and doing the same things. It's just it's an unreal experience, and I you know very lucky to have this. Right. Now, in your location where you are now, uh, do you plan on branching out to other uh, states to, to do shows? Uh, yeah. Um, we are currently in the works for a whole U.S. summer tour. Uh, I think we, we have about 27 states right now booked um, all the way uh, starting June through August. The whole three month tour. Um, so that'll be our first time kind of branching out outside of the Midwest. We've only played Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, and Minnesota so far. Right. So it'll be really great to finally get get down there to, you know, um, all those other states and to get ourselves out there. Right, right. In May, you're doing Bratfest uh, with a good friend of ours, Jasmine Kane. Uh, they're playing the day that you're playing. Um, tell me what the... Uh, Fans could look forward to that's a big show. Yeah, that'll be that'll be really fun. Um, we, I've been me and my uh, brother, been, uh, Raph, Raph, my brother, the guitar player. We've been we've been going to Bratfest uh, for a couple of years. We saw um, Boba Flax from Antic Rebel there. Um, all, you know, always, there's always good bands there. Um, but yeah, so it's cool to finally get ourselves on those stages and. Um, experience that so yeah there's it's going to be a really great show we have lots of cool things planned for it great now when can people expect uh, the new disc to come out oh uh, well we just released devil inside so that the single just came out right um and then we are still working on a five song album right now right um we have all the songs written some stuff is recorded. There's still maybe a few writing processes to go down. But, uh, yeah, we're actually recording. Uh, tonight. We're leaving tonight to go record some more stuff. But um, hopefully soon it should be released. Great. Now, what's the rest of our year look like? What do you have planned? Uh, the rest of our year is just to uh, keep um, milking dough inside. I mean, the, our last release, Idol, it, uh, we... Um, played a very uh, high amount of shows just off that one single, and it got us to uh, you know our next stepping stone as a band, and opening up for great bands like uh, Pharaoh My Love. Um, that was, that's one that comes to mind. That was a really good show. Right. But um, yeah, and uh, already only not even only playing two shows with the new with the new bass player Axel. No, and we haven't even actually played a show yet since releasing Devil Inside, but it's already getting us to that next step even. Right. So, yeah. Wow. So what are your hopes uh, for the future for the band? Uh, for, for the future, I see, I see us, you know, we got we to tour a lot more, um, getting ourselves out there with this next upcoming record. I it's really huge, a huge concept. I can't say all the details yet, but it's just something that I've, I've always wanted to do since starting this band. And now I can, we finally have all the right members, all the right aspects um, and tools in our hands to do so. So 
um, the future of Once Around, starting with this next record, is going to be huge. You know, hopefully, our hopes is to make it to be the next, you know, the next kiss for the next Black Hole Rise. Cool, cool. Sebastian Sick, Once Around, congratulations on Devil Inside. Uh, would you like to say anything to the fans out there before we conclude? Uh, thanks for having me, man. Uh, I love always talking to you. It's a great time. Always love uh, getting my message out to the fans. Um, keep it real. Once around, we'll always be here to say rock and roll. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, man. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.